Sorry, mind if I ask you a question? <sighs> Go on. Do you know a homeless guy named Red Nose? Here he lives around here. Nope, not ringing a bell. I only just moved to this part of town. Oh, okay. Sorry to bother you. Sorry, can I ask you something? Depends. What do you want? I'm looking for someone. A man by the name of Red Nose. Red Nose? Never heard of him. Nothing, huh? But maybe my friends know something. Can you ask them? You bet. Might take some time, though. That's all right. I can wait. If you say so. Though, and in return, I've got this thing called a play pass. You mind taking a shot at it? Come again? It's for a new game this Big Shot Committee just opened. They call it Dice and Cube, over at Paradise VR. Which is what? It's, uh, some kind of fancy board game. You wear stupid glasses, you roll dice, a heck of a It's over on Theater Alley, and you need one of the play passes to get in. Huh. This town's crazy sometimes. I hear they got some pretty nice prizes if you win, too. But my legs are shot to shit. No VR for this hobo. Yeah, I guess you'd still have to move around. I got a few friends who've tried, but it sounds like they're all having trouble. So I want you to get a prize for me. Young guy like you can do it no problem. What do you say? Sounds interesting. All right, you wait here. I'll go win you that prize. Thanks a million, buddy. I'll ask around about your red nose in the meantime. Here we go. Let's do this. Whoa! 
there. Nice. That'll do it. I'll go left. Here goes that.
Must we? Hey, pal, how'd it go? Get me one of those sweet VR prizes? Piece of cake. Whoa, for real? I wasn't expecting you to actually win. Anyways, I asked around about your red nose fella. Still don't know where he is, but I did find who might. Yeah? At least that's what they told me. Oh, and speak of the devil. You're the one looking for that homeless guy? Yeah? You find him? No, not yet. Try heading over to the children's park, then. Some volunteers are handing out free food. All the hungry homeless of Camarocho will be there. Thanks for the tip. Eh, don't mention it. See ya. On my way to the children's park. Think I might run into the thief. You mean the guy who robbed us is still in town? Not sure. But even if he isn't, I might find a lead or two. According to Ayabe, the thief was a homeless guy by the name of Red Nose. You're saying a bum took our money? Looks like it. No clue if he's still alive, though. After Higashi got to him, that is. Right. Well, I'm in. See you at the children's park, yeah? Hey, sorry about this. Looks like they weren't handing out food after all. My bad. So we're doing this instead? Yep. Red Nose sends his regards! Ah! <laughs> 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 
You guys are getting old for this. Why'd you attack me? We wanted to know who you are. Why would someone want to know about Red Nose now? So, you're a friend of his? Is he still alive? No. Hasn't been for a while now. When'd he die? About a year ago. Someone found him floating face up in the sewer. Body was all shot up with bullet holes. Shot? Did you go to the police? No, of course not. What are the cops gonna do for us? Dead bum in a ditch is just more paperwork for them. Either way, his body's long gone. But we still want to find out what happened to him. That's the best funeral we can give him now. Right. Don't have a clue who killed him, though. Or why. All we remember is that a year ago, some Tojo clan Yakuza was looking for him. Must be Higashi. And is that Yakuza the one who killed Red Nose? Not sure. Those types are kinda out of our league, you know? We thought if anyone would know something, it'd be you. That's why we... Sorry, but my buddy here's got more fight in him than some random Yakuza. Fighting's been the only constant thing in his life. <laughs> That's Kamurocho for you. You're late, Kaito-san. Is this the guy who was looking for Red Nose? Yep, that's him. Not a doubt in my mind. So, a year ago, Higashi took the money back from Red Nose and returned it to the Matsugane family. Around the same time, Red Nose turns up ice cold in the sewer. Who do you think killed him? I... I just can't believe it. Higashi's not a murderer. Where would he have even gotten a gun? There are ways. This is Gamurocho, remember? I'm gonna go talk to Higashi. You're coming too, right Kaito-san? Don't you want to know what happened? Okay, I'll come. Let's head to Charles then.
can't stay down. Let's roll, Tom. Higashi-san! Yagami's here, and Kaito's with him! Wow. <laughs> Never thought I'd see you roll in here. Kaito-san. Only seemed fair after what you pulled. Look, we need to talk. <laughs> and about what, exactly? Higashi. Red Nose. Did you kill him last year? <laughs> Who? Don't play dumb. The guy who broke into the Matsugane family office. Look, we already know you got the money back from him. And not long after, Red Nose turned up dead in the sewers. As for the cause, it seems he'd been shot. Higashi-san! Motherfucker! How dare you! I need you to answer me. Did you kill Red Nose or not? Start talking, Higashi! I did it for you, man. If I could have just gotten the money... Maybe they wouldn't have kicked you out of the fucking family. I was ready to do whatever I needed to do. For Kaito, huh? If you really mean it, then drop the goddamn gun! Not a chance! So it's all on the table. You really gonna kill us, huh, Higashi? It's over. You don't have enough bullets in that damn gun. You can't kill us all. <laughs> Thanks for that. Now go! Fuck you! God damn, that felt good. Come on! Yeah. This is what I pay you for, Kaito-san. Fuck yeah! Yeah! <laughs> 
didn't. I didn't kill him. What? I'm not the one who murdered Red Nose. Then who the hell was it? Red Nose must have had a contact in the Matsugane family. That's the only way he got away with it. And whoever that contact was gave him all sorts of info. When security was light. Where the safe was. Not to mention when there'd be the most money. There's no way you steal from the Yakuza without some help. So, is Red Nose's contact the one who killed him? To cover it all up? Probably. But who would have done something like that? Stealing their own family's money. It wasn't about the money. Huh? They wanted to rub you out of the picture, Kaito. That's why it happened when you were on guard duty. To rub me out? If that's it, then the contact must have been... Yeah. Captain Hamra. You were the only thing between him and total control of the family. With you gone, he could consolidate his power. At least that's how he saw it. And he wasn't wrong. Just look at it now. Yeah. Nobody can stand up to the captain anymore. With the power and money he's got, he's the only thing keeping us afloat. How exactly did Red Nose die? You know, don't you, Higashi? It was the day after the Hundred Mill went missing. After Kaito Anaki got expelled. I bought some info from a dirty cop. Led me right to the name Red Nose. I asked all around town. Till eventually I ended up down in the sewers. But... Me and Red Nose... We weren't the only two there. You found Hamura, didn't you? They were making a deal. Hamura was gonna get 90 mil. And Red Nose would have walked away alive. And 10 million yen richer at that. Should have been all wrapped up, clean and easy. Who's there? Come out! Hamura, is that him? It's Higashi, sir. Sorry to barge in on you like this. Higashi? What in the fuck are you doing here? Are you alone? I, uh, I don't know if you realize, but that's the guy. That's Red Nose. He stole the hundred mil from our office. Sorry, Red Nose. This is nothing personal. <gasps> Captain? <laughs> hey, um, that really a good idea? Tell me, how'd you find out Red Nose was the thief? I... I... Well, I... Uh, What was I supposed to do? I told him everything. How I was in the office when the thief broke in and stole the money. How I bought police info from Ayabe and followed the trail to Red Nose. I kept talking, like my fucking life depended on it. Probably did, to be honest. Hmm. Real insightful. You did all that so you could clear your buddy Kaito's name, huh? Aren't you just the most loyal boy in town? Please, don't shoot. Whatever it is you want, I'm begging you, Captain! But, Captain, hold on. You sure? Huh, probably right. You want to stay alive. You show us some loyalty. Prove yourself once and for all. But how? How can I? 
Here's how. What? He wouldn't have had to die if you didn't show your sorry face. Not only that, he would have walked away ten million richer. Poor son of a bitch. His blood's on your hands, you know. No! <laughs> oh, wow. You scream like a fucking whore. Kind of a turn on, to be honest. <laughs> what are you so upset for? You're finally a real Yakuza now. So you really didn't kill him, huh? No. But people know I was out looking for him. My prints are all over the gun, too. No matter how you look at it, I don't got an alibi. You said it yourself. I look like a real Yakuza now. I was thinking the same thing. Hey, what if we told Matsugane-san about this? Think he could put the squeeze on Hamura? Not a chance. The boss can't stop him anymore. Telling him would just make things worse. That's why Higashi kept it a secret. Tough as it sounds, it was the right move. Right. Hell of a thing. All right, I'm gonna go, Kaito-san. Mm hmm This is between the two of you now. I'm sure you've got a lot to catch up on. Not sure what it is. I just can't stand that guy. Yeah? I mean, he's known you way longer than I have. And the boss has his back, even though he never swore up. I don't know. Something's just off about him. Hey. You ever hear what happened to his dad? Nope. What happened? Let me start from the beginning. From what I've heard, he was a stand-up guy. <laughs> Taught him kung fu and everything. He was a lawyer, too. Oh, yeah? Things changed when Tak was 15. His dad took a dead-to-rights murder case and actually managed to get an acquittal. One of the victim's relatives wasn't too happy about that, though. Huh? When Tak was younger, his parents were both stabbed to death. Doc was at a friend's house when it happened. He was there to avoid them. Pissed about the hours they were working. But maybe if he'd been home... Maybe he could have done something. Anything. Maybe his parents would still be alive. So this guy who killed the family, did they ever catch him? He hung himself at the scene of the crime. Tragic doesn't even begin to describe it. Tak ended up coming to Kamurocho right after that. Didn't want any help from his relatives, neither. So he lied about his age and snagged a job at Tender. Got it. So that's when he met you, huh? Yeah. And if you want the truth, I wasn't too big on the guy at first, either. I was pretty green at the time, too. But here comes this 15-year-old punk picking a fight with the Yakuza my size. The ball's on that one. Probably thought he stood a chance. <laughs> Probably. Until I broke his nose. But no matter how much he gets beaten down, Tok's not the kind of guy to give up. Every time I beat the crap out of him, he'd act like it was no big deal. Then one day, and I couldn't tell you why, Matsugane-san took a shine to him. 
This weird father something just kind of happened. Tak wouldn't listen to anyone else. For me and you, becoming Yakuza was our only choice. But for him, it was different. And if I had to guess, the boss could see that. And that's why I took him in. Tak didn't let him down, though. Ended up passing the bar exam not long after. I remember. Wasn't too pleased with it myself. <laughs> but that's all in the past. It's different now. There's a dead man walking. What are you and Matsugani-san still seeing him? I could ask the same question about a guy who got kicked out for letting his safe get robbed. Kamurocho chews up guys like us. And when it spits you out, you're right back on the street. But me and him, we grew up here. We don't have another home. So even if it means butting heads with Captain Hamura, we're gonna see this shit through. Anaki. The Captain's word is absolute. At least for now. But, if he ever gave the order to off you... I might have to think twice about it. <laughs> I think I can live with that. As Yagami chases the mole, the Matsugani family's net tightens. A year ago, Kaito was expelled from the family, and its power structure changed entirely. But the whole thing was a setup. In Kamarocho, men are pulled into the criminal underworld's currents. But those that refuse to submit to its tides will always struggle. So, Higashi, tell me, you have a good reason you aren't doing what I asked? No, I don't, boss. You sure could use one with talk still hanging around. It's time to start doing your damn job! Yeah. <sighs> Camp's awfully tense lately. Uh, kinda kills the whole room, you know? Huh? <laughs> yeah. Mm. He's always in such a bad mood. One dead, one wounded in the Tojo clan's Matsugane office shooting. Dead guy's name was Kurimoto. Been in the family for years. Did I know him? Doubt it. 
He didn't make a habit of standing out. Well, at least they got the killer. Apparently he says he's just an office worker. Bullshit. Guy's a Kyore assassin, no doubt. You sure? Yep. At least that's what Higashi told me. Oh, you mean the guy who was ready to shoot me the other day? <laughs> you still sore about that? Anyway, according to Higashi, this guy shot Kurimoto three times in the torso. Then, he shot both his eyes out. Why? Must be the Kyore's idea of revenge. If things keep going like this, though, even the Tojo clan proper might end up getting involved. So the Kyore clan wants a war? Looks like it. Kamurocho's turning into a goddamn battlefield. <laughs>